All right. As many of you know, Tractor has cool FX sense for stamps tracks. For example, it allows you to use beat measure on your drums alone or delay on your vocals. And while you can click these buttons with your mouse in Tractor software, it's not particularly convenient in a live setup. Therefore, we need hardware controls. The only controllers that come with such mapping out of the box are F1, D2 and S8. Two last ones are discontinued, by the way. As for the S4 Mark III, it has dedicated stamps mode on its pads that allows for volume and filter controls per stamp in the stamps track. However, FX Sense controls are not available. And today we are going to fix it. Here is how it's going to behave. If Shift is pressed on the controller, the bottom row of pads on the stamps pad mode turns into FX Sense controls for each stamp. Notice how pads reflect what is shown in software. If Shift is not pressed, it just behaves as usual default as for Mark III mapping. Overall, there are two different ways to do it. First is MIDI mapping, which is not super clean and has drawbacks. And second one is changing a few lines of code in QML files that Tractor uses for controller's configuration under the hood. I'm going to explain the second option, as it provides much better user experience when performing live. If you still wish to see how this can be done using MIDI mapping, I'll attach down below my Medium article for details in the description. On the Mac, you will need to go here and find this file. On Windows, it depends on where you install Tractor, and by default, it's this path. Make a backup of this file by copying it to some place on your computer, now make a second copy and let's place it on the desktop for now. Open the file that you just copied to the desktop with your text edit program and scroll to the very bottom where you will find this portion of the text. Now go to the description of this video or to the Medium article and copy modified text. Replace text in the file with a modified one and save the file. Finish by copying the file from your desktop back into the tractor folder and accept replacing it. That's it. Go ahead and launch Tractor. Now, when you connect your S4 Mark III to the computer, you will see that FX Sense are available and ready to go. As for how to use this FX Sense creatively, I'll make another video coming soon with various examples and styles. Here are some notes. Firstly, since I'm not the QML expert or amateur even, I'm not sure how to change the color of pads to something else than reddish orange you have right now. If anybody in the comments knows how to do that, let me know so that I can create the follow-up video on how to do it. Secondly, every time you update Tractor, this mapping will be overwritten to the default one, so you'll need to go and do these changes to the file again. Lastly, I haven't tested whether this QML modification works with other QML modes, so it's up to you to test if it works. By the way, if you don't know how to create the highest quality stamps from any track, check out this video. In conclusion, it's great that such customizations are possible for tractor controllers. But native instruments, please add stamps effect sense as default controls on S4 Mark III. That's been it, guys. Cheers!